how's it all going? Hope you're all doing amazingly well. Today I've got a bit of a different video for you. This is all about my whole fitness journey, where it's taken me, how I got started, like all the things that you need to know about it and everything. If you're somebody that's been wanting to join for a while, or you're curious about the whole fitness aspect of things, because I feel like it still has a bit of a stigma towards it because as soon as you hear pole dance or something like that then I know for me definitely it was a bit like that kind of you know stereotypical you know you're dancing on a pole really out there and sexy and that but there's so much more to it and the people who run it the instructors who do this are absolutely amazing I just thought I'd share with you all these different things about pole so with pole I started first off with a bring a pal to pole so somebody who I was very close with had been doing pole for about two and a half years and I went to see her show last year and it was incredible. All the women that were on stage doing their routines were absolutely insane and I was just like, my jaw was just dropping to the floor pretty much the entire time I saw these routines. And they were all different as well, like you had hip hop routines, you had like really elegant moves going on, and there was just a different variety of things that people were doing. Like there was heels, so people that were, you know, dancing in heels and not really doing much dancing on the pole but more so floor work and it was just incredible to see a really nice thing about it as well was the different ages of people doing it so children were doing it obviously you know in retrospect to their age on what they can do so it was more like you know gymnastic -y type of stuff but still doing things on the pole there was also teens there was people in their 20s 30s 40s 50s 60s there was different sorts of people doing it and the way they were talking about it about it being a family and just an amazing place for people to go to and really build positive strong relationships i thought why not try it got nothing to lose and it's something that I feel interested in doing so why not give it a go so i went with my friend lauren to her bring a power to pole and there was me and there was another woman with her daughter so four of us all together and it was pretty much what you would do in a class like a beginner's class so we did a little warm-up so just jogging around doing like press ups and things like that just to get your body warmed up and ready and we just tried different moves some we tried individually some we tried with the other person there was one move I tried with Lauren where she was more up the pole and then I was down at the bottom and we were just sort of like slowly spinning around and it was incredible and I remember one of the first moves I did there's different names for different moves and people don't always use the same name for a certain move and there was one that I did called the Superman but the Superman was basically where you were like holding onto the back of the pole and you've got your thighs hanging onto the pole like gripping and you're just at the bottom and when I did that move, like I felt like, oh my god, like I love this, like this is amazing, and I need to do it. And you know, I spoke to Lauren, and she said, like, you just need to go for it, just do it. She said you'll be incredible. Now it took me a good few months to get the courage up to do it, but it was also because I was doing my degree at the same time. It was nearly finished, so I thought the best time to do it would be when I haven't got that anymore and when I've already started pole and I'm in that routine of doing all these things, and then it will be easier to like combine it with my studies when I go back in September so I joined when was it I joined in May I couldn't tell you the exact date but I joined in May 2019 I was really scared because I was going on my own I didn't know anybody at all and you know obviously when you go to these new things like one of the things that you don't want to do or like put you off even going is to be doing it on your own I felt really anxious and really nervous and I just thought it was a bit like your first day of school kind of thing or first day at your new job where you don't know anybody and you're kind of finding your feet. I was told a time to go so I went to that time but it was the wrong time. So it was for me it was supposed to start at seven it had already started at half past six and I just walked in and everybody was standing about I was like hello how are you all doing? <laughs> I'm really sorry but I got told a different time and it was just like oh my god like your first poll session and you've come in late like I know obviously it wasn't my fault it was just you know a mix up of communication so if you're local to Wiltshire they do poll to size in Westbury and they do it in Melksham obviously if you're doing a lot of classes in Melksham and they start at different times then sometimes they can get a bit confusing yeah I came in halfway through we just did some different moves by the end of it I was like 
okay so i need to make sure that i'm here at half past six this week but no it was fine um the instructor sarah is absolutely lovely and she was lovely at the time and she was just like half past six next week and i was like yep yep i will be there and it's just been going from there really so i've only missed one poll session and that was due to illness i've learned so much just from the 10 11 weeks that i've been going it's just incredible there's so many things that i didn't think that i'd be able to do so froggers thinking of the exercise that i'm doing in fit froggers it's front frog and backwards frog i could not do front frog for the life of me for a good few weeks and then one day it just happened i managed to do it and we've done different things different moves and it's always nice because we always get photos of them we've had a video of when we did our routine a few weeks ago as well for the first time <laughs> incredible and the people that you meet are amazing I've met some really lovely people doing these classes and you just build each other up and you're just there for each other and there's no animosity no sour environment at all like everybody's so lovely they want you to do well like sometimes you know they'll help you with different things they'll all, all give and make like comments to each other and it just it feels like a really nice environment to be in and it takes the stress off from being at work all day and knowing that you've got that to look forward to it's just it's really lovely and it's just amazing my pole journey so far has been absolutely amazing obviously with all the photos you've seen like that's what i've been working on like throughout the weeks and that and you just get better and stronger each time but don't feel like that you have to be in really great shape to be able to do this there's all different women of different shapes and sizes, different backgrounds of fitness, different age groups, and don't feel like that, you know, you need to be like a really fit person to be able to do it because you build that up over time. And instructors are only gonna push you to the point they know that you can push yourself to. You know, there's some moves where you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, how am I even gonna do that? And some of the moves the instructors do sometimes like we're just in absolute awe of and we're like how do you do that and then they just reply i've been doing it for four years <laughs> like if i wasn't able to do this after four years i'm you know I'd be a bit concerned there's no bad atmosphere it's just a lovely group to be part in and you build your fitness you meet great friends you believe in yourself more and your own ability and you do things that you would never think possible to be able to do and all the things that you do like going upside down that like all your inverts you've always got your spotter there which is the which is normally the instructor if you're in beginner plus and they're there with you every step of the way they're not just gonna let go if they know you can't hold the position or anything and yeah it's just amazing and i love what it's done for my self-confidence like my confidence has gone through the roof since doing all this like I feel so much better in my body I feel so much better about myself and it's just an amazing feeling I can't describe it it's just incredible the stigmas and stereotypes of you know pole dancing or pole fitness is you know you do really risque moves or you know you're showing a lot of yourself and that and actually it's the complete opposite we're advised to wear like short you know crop tops or t-shirt and short shorts and that's because you need a lot of skin contact for the pole it's nothing to do with like you know showing off your whole body for the sexy image of it it's nothing to do with that at all so you've got a lot of skin contact with the pole and it depends what type of class you're doing in what you do so we have for our group we've got beginner plus intermediate mixed levels advanced and there's other classes as well so there's ones where you don't do so much pole works there's something called flexi where you build your flexibility 
you do heels, which is more floor work, you're in high heels obviously, and that's more of the dance aspect of things. But then even then, when I went to the pole show last year about it, you just saw beautiful women being confident and doing their thing. Women being themselves and feeling confident and being powerful and feeling empowered, and it's just an amazing thing to be part of. You do something different every week. Like, you, you obviously, you go over things, but like you do different moves every week. You learn more of what your strengths are and what needs to be worked on, so me at the minute I know it's to going upside down or doing flips I can't do like we had a different instructor this week and she wanted us to do a somersault and I was like how on earth am I going to do a somersault like I've never done a somersault in my life how am I going to be able to do it now and like she was incredible she was like I've got you we're going to do this you can do it and without a doubt your girl did a somersault and it was one of the best feelings in the world let me tell you it was incredible how like the whole thing works obviously depending what kind of pole fitness group you join there's different ways that people doing it but how my journey began i started with the eight week beginner course which is where you pay um 50 pound for the whole course i think that works out at like six pounds something a session which is really really good so you do that for the eight weeks and then obviously you decide what classes you want to do when you finish your beginner course you then go on to beginner plus if you want to so that's just continuing what you're doing pretty much you can choose to do two or three sessions a week it might not be with the same instructor i know ours isn't we have different instructors for different things because i know they mix it up a bit and if you want to do two or three classes a week it's 60 pound if you just do one it's 40 pound a month which works out pretty well for like all the stuff that you learn and all the everything that you gain from it it's just really really good if you're thinking of starting it and you're thinking you know continuing it for a while things i would suggest in bringing to make sure that you've got is pole chalk you can get that on amazon or ebay pretty cheap i think it's something like eight pound but chalk is really good for grip and to be able to grip onto the pole so you don't sweat so you don't sweat you don't like slide down so you've got that grip on the pole it's much better to wear shorts so don't go wearing leggings for your first session make sure you have shorts even you know if you haven't got any short shorts to start with you know start with shorts for the beginning because you won't be able to get enough grip on the pole and that's why they suggest that you wear less so then you've just got more grip for your body like everywhere you are definitely bring water as well and a towel because you sweat like mad i know what i do anyway from all the different things you're doing if you're doing your circuits from your warm-up if you're doing more pulling up for yourself if you're doing a lot of core like legs like you work different areas of your body and also as well you're gonna get bruises and you're going to ache and hurt a lot when you first start not gonna lie and until you get used to it you will still get those but that's just how it is you can't do anything about that i'm always like in awe of my bruises and i love when i get like the pain and obviously not when it's painful you know that you've worked hard when you get all the soreness and that and you start building your muscles like i feel like my arms as well they've been in the best shape that they have ever been since i started pole if you're already into fitness as well then perfect because you know you sort of got that little bit of edge to do a lot of weights or if you do cardio and things like that then you know you're in a great place but even if you're not into fitness a lot it really doesn't matter because then you build your fitness anyway you sort of see for yourself like what it does for you i know for myself it's done a lot of toning i feel a lot more confident about my body and what it looks like now i'm more like proud to show it off and obviously with guns i'm more proud to show off those depending how long how long you do it you do a show every year where you just show off your skills and that but again that's something that's up to you to do if you want to be part of it you can if you don't want to then you don't have to but there's different instructors as well which is really nice because you get to see how they teach and see what they do like we had a new instructor this week and she was incredible oh my gosh like the stuff that she made us do she made me do that somersault this week which i didn't think i would do but i did it's just nice to mix with different people and it's nice to see like how they learn what you can gain from it like i gained a lot from that session which was amazing 
I did miss my normal instructor though because she's just amazing. So if you're somebody that's quite conscious about your body and nervous about revealing your body or anything like that, honestly, like do not worry at all. Like all of you women, especially when you're starting, you're all in that exact same place. You're all in that position of, I guess in a way, vulnerability because it's something you've not done before and it's something, you know, brand new. If you're with the right people in the right group, which I, you probably will be because pole fitness just seems to bring that family together. Like you'll all just want to do well for each other. You'll all be nervous. Like even now, like when we all do new moves and we're all just like really nervous to do it. But then once you get up there, you get so much praise because you're trying and you're really enabling yourself to put yourself out there. And that's amazing and that's something that you just gotta own and just be proud of and when you're part of that family it's just amazing as well as obviously your physicality it improves your mentality as well so you definitely believe more in yourself you just you do moves that you never thought possible and then when you achieve them you feel like so badassy and just like oh my god like i just did that like that's amazing that's pretty much been my whole whole fitness journey so far it's something that's part of my transformation going on at the moment. If you're thinking about joining Poll, I would honestly recommend it. If you're in the Wiltshire area and you're thinking about joining Poll to Size, um, I'll link everything down below at the bottom. But I know at the moment they don't have a bring a pound to Poll or any taste sessions for the minute. I know it's just a beginner's session for £50 for eight weeks, which is a really good deal and it will be the best £50 you've invested, I promise. It will be amazing. I was a bit sceptical at first, but it was really worth doing it. Even if you just do it for the eight weeks, you know, it's something you've tried and, you know, you've gained more knowledge and experience and, you know, maybe a bit of toning in there as well so something else as well is <laughs> fear of falling or anything like your instructor is always there when you first start or if you're not able to do your inverts by yourself at the minute your instructor will always be there don't worry about falling plus if you ever do inverts as well when you're first starting you have a crash mat at the bottom as well so don't panic and you know even now i still have slips and nearly falls and whatnot that's just part of it that's part of the journey and then once you master that move then you'll look back and you'll think what was i even worried about <laughs> one other thing i will say before i finish is if you can't do a move if you're not able to do something right away or you know it takes you weeks to be able to do something don't feel bad about it at all or be critical or feel like that pole isn't for you different moves attract different people so what i mean by that is that some moves i know for me as well suit you more than what they suit other people and vice versa some people might be good at other things you might be good at other things but it's all about putting it into practice and you know making sure that you're just doing it for you and you're working on doing different moves and you know put if it's pulling yourself up or you know going upside down or things like that like that's like it's your journey at the end of the day don't compare yourself to what other people are doing because i know i've done that the past couple of sessions but it's mainly when my mentality has been a bit off. Don't feel like you have to do things a certain way. You're doing amazing for even starting pole. It's so difficult. It's, you know, one of the most difficult hobbies you can do, but it's one of the best hobbies you can do because as well as fitness and toning and having that side of things, it's you meet amazing people who just want you to win and are very much like-minded. So I definitely give it a go. And if you are in the Wiltshire area, do give Poll the Size a follow on Instagram and you know connect with them. If you're interested in joining, they will get you sorted straight away with your first beginners session. If you're not sure about it, just do it. That's it. If you're not sure about joining, just do it. I feel like if it's an opportunity that's not worth missing, like definitely do it. Like definitely just give it a go. And you never know, you might surprise yourself. I definitely have and I feel like it's been my next calling in life and it's been amazing. So if you have any pole journeys yourself or if there's anything that you've learned yourself like pop them down in the comments below I'd love to hear your story and how you got started. Definitely look up all the links that I've shown you below. Definitely give pole a go if you're thinking of doing something new or challenging yourself or if you've been interested in pole for a while definitely try it out it's amazing that's all i have for you on my pole journey thank you so much for watching do all the usual malarkey of like 
commenting, subscribing, that would be absolutely amazing and I would really, really appreciate it. And I will see you guys very shortly in my next video. Take care, everyone.